Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to review Intimacy Hair Collections, two clip-ins that I previously did styles on, on, on this channel. They sent me these clip-ins and definitely sponsored all those previous videos. I want you guys to know exactly what I feel about the hair. If you decide to purchase the hair, pictures of when I had the hair in and definitely I will link those old videos in the description box as well as I will link them in the cards at the at the top as well as at the end of the video so if you guys are interested stay tuned for the video so back to this so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the style where I had the kinky straight clippings in Please avoid the fact that I don't have the hair in today. I just decided to do this review after the fact, after I've worn them, washed them, dyed, and did everything. So I'm going to review both of the styles that they sent to me. They sent to me a 16 and 18 inch kinky straight as well as or 18 and 20 inch coily tight clip-ins. So the kinky straight clip-ins are these. And let me tell you something, I had these in for carnival. What I can really, what I really noticed the difference of, I mean, with these clippings were the actual clips. Because when I make my own, or I had, and I had other clippings before, and the clips itself, the hooks were not this strong. These are so strong, they have not turned, they have not flaked, they have not rusted, even though my hair was wet. The coily tight, sorry. This is the coily tight, and as you can see, the clips itself did not rust, did not change color. Now, I've had experience in the past where the clips itself turned rusty, or even with me just opening them, they would break. But in this case, I didn't have that experience. So anyway, back to the kinky straight. That was one specific thing that I noticed that I really, really like, and that's definitely a pro of these clip-ins. Now, what else I want to say about these clip-ins? This is the kinky straight. As you can see, I've worn these, I've worn these clip-ins curled. I've worn these clip-ins in its natural state once, but I didn't have a picture. But this is when I've already worn the clip-in. This is one of the clips that I've used, one of the tracks that I've used. And listen, the wave is still in it from my hand, like these waves in the style that I've worn them in, but these do not shed. These did not shed on me at all. Now, maybe one or two, which is natural because these are raw. This is raw hair, okay? These are raw clippings that I'm showing you. Definitely clipped from the donor's head, washed and sewn on the track. So I didn't have any experience. The luster is very, very full. Two bundles is definitely all you need. Even you can use one bundle for the kinky straight or the coily. It's totally up to you and what you like and how dense you like your hair to be. But... I wanted to show you guys what I like about this hair. It comes in a natural brown color. It doesn't come black. You know it's raw because it's not jet black. These are kinky. When you first get the clipping, and I never use this single one because I had no need for it really. So I want to show you guys the difference between the one I used and the one I did not use. As you can see, I used heat pretty much on this clip in so you can see in here is a little bit more straight and right in here it has more kink almost all the way to the bottom but there's not specifically any difference from what i used and from what i didn't use so that should tell you something you can use these clip ins over and over and over add heat recurl do things completely different and you'll have the same quality hair i didn't add any oil anything to this since I've had the hair, I did not add any oil, any hold. Oh, I did. I actually used Got To Be Holding Spray to hold my curls a little bit more. And still, there's absolutely no difference. No extra dryness, nothing. So I want you guys to make sure, keep that in your mental notes, that this is the difference between the hair. I didn't use this because I had no need for this little sharp piece because I didn't do any specific styling like that. I used more of the longer pieces, more of the longer tracks. And this is the difference. It's pretty much the same. So that's what I really like about it. The kinky straight is really cute in a half up, half down hair style. I didn't use it for any style other than that, really. But that is my favorite style with the kinky straight clip-ins. Now I want to show you guys this and this is I'm going to put a picture 
Here's a picture of when I used the coily type more than once, right? Now this coily tight, I didn't dye it first. Now here's how the coily tight comes. Like I said before, I didn't even have reason to use these little short pieces. So this is exactly how the coily tight comes out of the package. It comes out of the package just like this, very brushed out as if your hair is washed and no definition. Now, in comparison to when I did actually define the coily clippings and I put these in my hair and I just took them out of my hair, I didn't do anything for this video extra. I dyed this as well as I defined this for my hair when I had the wet look. I'm going to post that video in the cards above. This is what I use for the wet look. This is what I use for the wet look. And I dyed this, defined this, and never washed these out. This is the same coily clippings that I had in for the wet look. And this is the track, one of the tracks that I used. It's still pretty much defined. And to be honest with you, my clips from keeping my hair wet and always re-wetting re my hair and what you call it, refreshing my hair. I didn't have any problems with the clips as well as the hair itself is very, very raw. This reminds me of my hair in a oil wash and go. Surprisingly, once you use gel, it defines and coils up just like real hair. And I definitely enjoyed, definitely enjoyed these coily tight clip-ins because these match my hair like a dream. When I say defined and coily, these match my hair so, 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 so good. Now, any cons about these clip-ins? Definitely, I don't have any because these are one of the only clippings that I've had that actually matched my hair to a T. I don't have any cons. The only con that I may have with the coily tight is the, the fact that the ends are a little fine. But it comes off so much more natural that way. I really like the ends of my hair to be almost root to tip thick. In this area, it's a little bit thin. And as you can see in this clipping as well, it shows the same effect that I, the one that I did not use. Now, as in density, if you're looking for fullness, especially with the kinky straight, it definitely can work with two bundles. However, I don't have that issue with the coily, the coily tight. The coily tight comes straight to end, full. Straight to end, full, bouncy, like real hair. This is like real hair, guys. So pretty much that is all I have to say about it. The service is nice. What I can say about my interaction with the brand is that the brand was very, very supportive of me being creative with my idea. Is it a real true review or is it real and true when you use the hair? Do you really like the hair as an influencer or creative? But this brand did not put any pressure on me. So I would support this brand continuously. And if you would like to support this brand, what you can do is do the same just use my code and i link the codes in the description box i link the actual site in the description box as well as leave my codes in the description box teb15 and that is for 15 percent off and money off of your purchase i have no other cool I, I have no other issues or no other pros about this hair as for shedding i like i said i didn't experience much i had natural shedding with the coily tight, of course, when you keep going like this, it wasn't much though. And I can bet you once I put this in water, the gel is going to run off and this is going to go back natural. So I didn't have any many um, issues with the hair. I've had those clip ins with my wet look in for a week and I only refreshed it. And honestly, people were stopping me in the road asking me if this was my hair and listen to me. I can honestly see why because it really did look like my hair, y'all. It really did. I really appreciate um, the brand for sponsoring this content and definitely sponsoring the previous videos because I never bucked up on, never came across, never in my life used clippings like this. And when I say I never did, I never did. These clippings really do match my hair perfectly. So thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to follow Intimacy Hair Collection on Instagram as well as follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to like this video, give it a big, 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 big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Mwah.